In today's video, we're opening a massive Yu-Gi-Oh! collection box. No, it's not Dragon Ball Super. Though it does say it on the side, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! What's up, guys? We are back with another epic video, and before we hop into the collection of the massive box, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these Egyptian God card decks. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below, favorite card in the collection. It's unknown. I don't know what's inside. There could really be anything in there. Well, I know it's Yu-Gi-Oh. That's about it. All right, let's make our way to the box and just crack it open. All right, one-handed cutting, not recommended. Definitely not what you should be doing. You should be using two hands, but I'm trying to record. I probably have, should have an arm that can hold this thing. Don't cut toward yourself either like I'm doing. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. I have a dangerous job. Okay, got it? All right, we finally got it open. That was probably really shaky. Sorry about that, a little shaky cam action. Let's open this thing up. What is inside? A bunch of paper, woo! All right, enough of that. Styrofoam. Ooh, do not show on video. Okay, we will not show this on video. Well, we showed it on video, but the insides we will not show on video. All right, we have some stuff like this, a little bit of that. Okay, what is this? Let's go one at a time. Let's start with this. Okay, whatever this is, looks like some sort of bubble mailer or something. No, maybe a mat? Or what is this? It's got to be a mat, right? Yeah, this has to be a mat. I'm not an expert in mats, but my friend VOP is. So this looks like one of those uh, spell grounds, but I don't think it's like a real one because a real spell ground would be a lot bigger and would also cost like a billion dollars. And I'm pretty sure we're not getting one of those. Could be wrong. This thing does look cool though. Got a big crease in it from being folded, but that's a really cool looking mat. I'm not going to lie. I like this. I really like this thing. This thing looks amazing. Here's the bottom half. You could probably says something down there. Can't really read it. It might be in like, you know, fictional language or I just can't read it. One of the two. Okay, we're not I'm not gonna go back to the box every time. I'm just gonna grab some stuff. We have Yu-Gi-Oh times 15. Okay, 15 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I think there might be some graded cards in here because I've gotten some stuff from this guy and he usually has some graded cards, but I'm not 100% sure, but this isn't a graded box. That's why I'm saying that there probably is, right? So we can open this up here. Got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like a little PSA return, sort of. Okay, no spoilers like that. Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Okay, we got a stack of Yu-Gi-Oh graded cards. Let's see what they are. First of all, I don't know which order we should go in. Let's just start. Okay, we got a six from the False Bound King. Not a great grade, but a really amazing card. Goblin fan, Prismatic Secret, old game promo. We've got a Metal Zoa, speaking of amazing cards. I mean, it's, they're both from the False Bound Kingdom. Hopefully we have a Zoa as well. Also got a six. A Zoa, near mint to mint eight, very nice, that's awesome. This is a collection purchase, by the way, but a lot of these will be for sale. So if you guys are interested in this, when this video comes out, hopefully I've got everything posted on ruxin34.com. Go check it out, just ruxin34.com, that's it. If it's not there, you can message me and see if I maybe sold it, there's a Dark Magician, or if I'm keeping it, whatever it is. Dark Magician 7 SDY. We have a almost a Tormentor Premium Gold, a little secret rare action. That's pretty cool. That's a nine. Best grade yet. Legendary Dragon of White. This is an amazing card. Rhyme Style once gifted me a PSA 10 because he's insane. That is a pretty awesome looking card. I still have that card. Uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, first ed SDJ. So if this is a PSA 10, these are actually really expensive. Eight, not so much, but still will have some value. Okay, we have a, a first edition delinquent duo from MRL. That's pretty good. We have a, yeah, I mean, pretty good. That's one of the best cards. Black Cluster Ritual, Black Cluster Soldier, maybe? Yes, an eight. So an eight set right there. Those might go together, make a nice little set. We have a Blue Eyes White Dragon, you meant to mint eight. That's pretty amazing. From the Jump Magazine. A lot of these are lower grades, but they're still pretty good cards. Oh, speaking of, that's a nice card. Legendary Dragon of White, PSA 10. This is from World Superstars, which there's like two good cards in that set, but it's this one and the Dark Magician are pretty awesome. Oh! Ooh, a ghost rare neo galaxy guys photon that's amazing psa 7 near mint 7 first edition that's really awesome galactic overload we opened that recently go check out that video for some reason nobody saw that video like weirdly low amount of people so if you missed that video go watch it it was uh it's a fun box you know it's 12 years old at this point we have a blade knight that's awesome psa 9 and ooh, a megasonic eye from joey limited edition joey pack psa 9 OCG, that's a really nice looking card. The OCG setup just looks, I mean, the anime style is so amazing. Big fan of the OCG cards. I really want to collect them. I don't have that many, but I want to collect more. The next thing we have, this says this are po these are Pokemon cards. 
So these look like graded again. So I don't know what kind of graded Pokemon we're about to get, but we're about to find out. All right, we'll run through these real quick because they are Pokemon. Shuckle, pretty awesome. First edition. If you guys remember the Shuckle collection we got in another video, same guy. First ed, PSA 10, Neogenesis common. I mean, Neogenesis is older than Yu-Gi-Oh! Like in, in the TCG. It came out in 2000, I believe. So another PSA 10. So these are really old cards. Oh my goodness, another one has dropped it. Uh, how many 10s does he have? This is the Shuckle collection. Oh my goodness, how many? One, two, three, four, five in a row. Uh, he's got a nine on the Neo Revelation. Why were there so many Shuckles? I guess it was Gen 2 when it first came out. Another nine. He's got to have a 10 in here, right? Another nine. Oh my goodness, Neo Revelation was rough to him. Another nine. He's got a Jim Ben 10. Oh my goodness. What are these cards worth? Pro I mean, they're Pokemon, so you never know. But another Jim Mint. They can't be that much. They're Shuckles, right? First edition, though. I mean, this is back when Pokemon did first Ed Unlimited. Another Jim Mint. Wow, he graded a lot of comments of Shuckle. This is a Shuckle guy. This is Shuckle's guy. He is the guy that got the Shuckle in, in Pokemon Silver, where the guy gives it to you for free because he's scared the guy's going to steal it. And he got it, and he's like, this is my guy. He's like, I'm going to be using this the rest of the game. And speaking of Pokemon... Pokerux, hopefully by the time you've seen this, is either about to release or is releasing a brand new Radical Red video. We did a crazy, crazy run. Crazy run. And I compiled it into one video, so go check it out. It was super awesome. I want you guys to see it if you are Pokerux fans or if you are wanting to support. There's a Gem Mint 10 Reverse Foil. That's actually pretty tough out of Sky Ridge. I mean, that's a rare set. Heart Gold, Soul Silver. This is like every Shuckle print in PSA 10. That's what it feels like. Hard Gold Soul Silver was kind of a banger era too. Like they had some really cool looking foils. Uh, Shuckle GX. So we didn't get the 10 on that one. It looks like. Ooh, the Jim Men 10 Lost Thunder Secret. I still have all the other Shuckles from the other collection he sold me. I didn't sell them yet. Uh, might, who knows? Might just keep the Shuckle collection because it's so epic. We got the OCG, not OCG, Japanese for Pokemon. OCG is different. PSA 10. Okay, on the Janine Shuckle. All right, Janine, she's rocking the Shuckle. Ooh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. Japanese. These are really nice. Man, Pokemon, I see why a lot of people collect Pokemon because the cards look really good. I mean, just look at these. They look amazing. The foil pattern. I mean, that doesn't look good to me. I'm not gonna lie, the standard GX, bleh. But like some of that old school stuff, some of the new stuff, not not that specifically, is really nice. So, Jim and Ten, I liked all those cards except those those last few GXs. All right, I think we're back to, to Yu-Gi-Oh now. Uh, sorry about the Shuckle intervention, but uh, I mean Shuckle is he's pretty epic, so. How to check it out. Let's see what this is. Was this like some sort of what in the world? Oh, it's Y Schwartz. That's what it is. Okay, I was like, this does not look like maybe we're not back to Yu-Gi-Oh. We have Y Schwartz, uh, Japanese. I know nothing about Y Schwartz, like literally zero. So there's that, I guess. If you guys are interested in that, hit me up because I know nothing about it. To be fair, he did send me a list and it said, like, here's here's what's in here. And I was just like, sounds good. I didn't actually look at it. Because like we've already, you know, we've worked together before. So I was like, it'll, it'll be fine. Whatever it is, we'll figure it out. Sometimes I like to just unknown. Yu-Gi-Oh opening, you know, or no, no opening. I guess in this case, not Yu-Gi-Oh. There is still Yu-Gi-Oh involved though, so it's not like there was nothing. This doesn't look like Yu-Gi-Oh either. This looks like something else. What is this? This is Mega Man. What in the world? This is like a chaotic meatball thing. The NT Warrior Grand Prix. He's a Mega Man guy. So maybe this is something that uh, a chaotic meatball would know about. We have Capcom. I know nothing about this either. I never watched Mega Man, never played it. I think there was a show, right? Was it a show? I don't know. There's definitely a game. I mean, there's a TCG as well. It's right here. All right, we got another tube. Looks like another mat. We will check it out because, okay, this says Konami on it. So this definitely is something. Oh, okay. World Championship Qualifier 2018. Uh, yeah, that's a nice mat. Check that out. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice mat. I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's pretty good. So that is, that's a banger right there. It's got some Mech Knight stuff on it is what it looks like. That's, that's pretty awesome. I'm not, that's a pretty cool one. The World Championship Qualifier mats. I've never gotten into mats because they get expensive, but they are very cool. I always wanted the Chaos Emperor Dragon one. They always show it all the YCSs. All right, now we have three of these kind of boxes, which looks like more like singles and stuff, uh, which is always interesting to see what'll be in here. Okay, right off the that we've got a banger we've got a hollow test print card that is super cool that's the coolest thing i've seen yet and there's been some cool stuff in here okay that's not it either there's some other good stuff in here so there are world championship qualifier sleeves which are very nice i've always really liked these think they're really pretty man that is a good start and we got some i don't know if this is bulk stuff or what but we've got some stuff you'll oh wait it's just sort of like a deck now it's just play sets of stuff Jowgins. The Royal Swamp Eel. For a while, that was like a $5 card. I don't know if it still is. 
bunch of other stuff. Dark Sacrifice, Jars, we've got the Tornado. Yeah, this just looks like Dude. Yeah, Dude. I was like, I could tell just by the cards that it was from Dude. I had a lot of those Dude cards, and they just kind of sat there for a really long time. Uh, they're just really solid set with, like, amazing cards in it, but nothing's worth a ton. We have more XCs. Le okay, Levier. This is from the Structure deck, isn't it? No, Hero decks, actually. Interesting. It's a pretty good card. Zen Maester. Some of this isn't even sleeved. We've got the Platinum Secrets. A lot of this isn't sleeved, actually. Numbers. We've got Red Eyes Flare Metal. This is just cool stuff to, like, set aside. This is Star Eater. And, like, if you're ever trying to, like, just play some, like, random decks, it'd be cool to just have all this extra deck stuff laying around. Odin, Loki. I mean, because these are probably a couple dollar cards, but, you know, they're not going to be, like, crazy money for the most part. But they would be, like, just fun to have and, like, use. Here we go. And, like, whenever I'm trying to build a random deck, you know, it's like, oh, I need this old, like, fusion or something in there. Like, something like that. I mean, the McDonald's pack. It's probably not that card specifically, but you know what I mean. Sandwich, mixture of Witch of Black Forest and Sangan. What an amazing card. That's one of the best ideas that they've ever had. I mean, Sandwich is just too good. Ojama Knight is good, so. It's just a bunch of stuff. So, like, the big ones were these. There's also a deck box in here okay this is pokemon is that a bunch of energy i think it was sean chaotic meatball was asking about energy last time so if you're still looking for those sean it looks like there are a few there's a pack of these i don't know how old that is but the foil looks old oh wow different dimension oh wow this is pretty good is this a is this some sort of dragon ruler deck no i mean it's well necro valley wait this is like a mixture of a of a goat deck and uh I don't know. It looks like a goat deck with like dragon rulers. I don't know if that's a real deck or not, but that's pretty funny. Okay, we got box two right here. So let's see. Uh, I mean, hopefully there's a few awesome items like there were in box one. I mean, the the test print, the sleeves, and then just pretty awesome extra deck kind of somewhat older stuff. You know, not of it, all of it was new. Okay, we got more sleeves in here. We have player's choice, the PC whites as they call them. These are... Uh, a fan favorite, I know. So there's not just one of those. There's two of those. Then there are some Pokemon sleeves. And usually Pokemon sleeves are not great from what I hear. So two great sleeves, two not so great sleeves. The rest looks like it's going to be mostly bulkish. Okay, this bulkish stuff is a lot of Call of the Haunted. Just Desserts, Ojama Trio, Trap Hole. Yeah, just a bunch of, uh, you know, not too crazy stuff. We have a couple foils in there. We'll run through these very quickly just in case we see something interesting that got left in there. This looks like more dude. Yeah, this is more dude stuff, which is, it, it is bulk because it's so, you know, it's so available. We have the Link Spiders, some old school stuff. This is, <laughs> this is very old school stuff. We have, okay, we have Card Destruction, Card of, okay, not Card of Demise. I don't know why I said that. That would be probably better. Card of Demise used to be really expensive, but I don't think it's as good anymore. And I think it's had a couple reprints, which have kind of done it in, but there's some more cool stuff. More sleeves, can't complain about that. And the final box of the collection is pretty long. Let me check this thing out. We got number three. So we'll see if it's all bulk. It's gotten a little bit more bulky as we've gone along, but maybe this is like number three because it's a banger, you know, it's a big time one. But based on what I'm feeling in here, it feels like just like commons and stuff. So yeah, this looks like mostly it's gonna be commons. We will run through it real quick. All right, I'm just gonna keep that down there. So we have terraformings, offerings of the doom, DD guide. We got banish of the radiance. Uh, I don't know what Burden of the Mighty is. I, actually, I've heard of it before. Each face up monster opponent controls loses 100 attack times its level. Interesting. Maybe back in the day that was decent. Foolish Burials. Just a bunch of, like, good staples, right? This is a bunch of those. MSTs. Cool. Lightning Vortex. Symphon Symphonic Warrior. Okay, that seems more random to me. Dr. Frankenderp. Okay, we got some gold stuff. The Time Lords. Okay, Planet Pathfinder for your tune decks. Yeah, definitely. Righty Driver Eater of Millions is a good card. Uh, Swift Scarecrow. Water. What in the world? Water Spirit. That looks like something on like uh, some anime. I feel like it'd be like uh, Full Metal Alchemist, maybe? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? I don't remember. I feel I haven't seen that in a long time, but I feel like that would come right out of there. That was a creepy looking face. Okay, we have Shadal Fusions. We have Called Vise from Dude. We got the Dark, Dark Hole, you know, Living Fossil. Anything else in here? We got reversal quiz. Any any magic in the bulk is the question. Any more magic? The test print, I think, is my favorite thing in here for sure, just because that's a really awesome item. I've pulled one, but not in the hollow version. Imagine getting it in a hollow slot. That would be so crazy. That would be really, really fun. So are mostly spells, it look like, at least so far. We have more magical mallets. Can't beat that. Tremendous fire. Ozaki. 
Now we're getting into just like random stuff. It's like, why are there burn cards? You know, they do 200 damage or whatever. Monster Reborns, Change of Hearts. Very organized though. They're like all in order and everything. There can be only one pretty good card. We got Ojama Duo, pretty annoying card. We got Just Desserts. We got some magical cylinders, magic cylinders. A Ojama Duo. We have Magical Explosion. A Thunder of Ruler, we got Spin Turn, Rivalry of Warlords, Laval um, Canon, Hecatrice, <laughs> we got uh, Gear Gia Armor. There are some like foils in here, but they are like random stuff. Okay, Dino, Dino Mist, Dinomorphia, different stuff, but okay, last little bit in this box, we have a Dino Mist Rex. So if you want to play some Pendulum, don't do it. Just just don't do it. If you were thinking of playing, playing Pendulum, don't do it. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Light Ray Daedalus. We have okay, these these Light Swords could be decent with the Light Sworn stuff coming out. Magical Scientist. Uh no, stay away. Final countdown. It's the final countdown. We have souls. We have Dungeon Worm from McDonald Pack 2. Elemental Hero Neo is a classic mech chaser from a starter deck. That's amazing. A uh, monster tamer from Yugi's World. That's pretty awesome as well. Very classic. Okay, bunch of cool commons in there. All right, so that's it for the collection. Uh, there's some pretty random stuff in there. There's some pretty cool stuff. I mean, this is this is my favorite right here. So a lot of fun stuff. And uh, if you guys are interested in anything, make sure to hit me up. Especially maybe not like a common out of one of the common boxes, but it's like graded card or something bigger. You know, if it's like a 50 cent card, maybe hold off. But if it's something, if you have a lot of things, hit me up. I'm gonna try to have the bigger stuff on ruxon34.com. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out ruxon34.com below. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins the Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.